y'all, I'm Lori with Arkansas Yarn Company. And I'm Lindsay with Always Yarn First. And today we're doing a Sock Yarn Society unboxing for the month of March. Yes. We are super excited. Um, I love doing this. I love when I get to open yarn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, nice. Friends are the rainbow after a storm. So the screen is making this look a lot more spearmint. It's actually a very light robin's egg Yeah, blue. I was gonna say robin's egg, yeah. It is, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted it to feel not St. Patrick's Day, but also imply that it could be St. Patrick's Day. Right. So friends, Friends are the rainbow after a storm mm -hmm. is my nod to um, what happens at the end of the rainbow, a pot of gold. Right. So friends are like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, and man. I'm like super happy. And I can't tell you how soft this is. This it's is squishy. Super soft. Squishy, squishy. Oh, stuff that I still didn't. Nope, doesn't want to. <laughs> it's a rainbow, y'all. It's a rainbow and it's so, it's enamel. It's so adorable. I love it. Mm -hmm. I guess I should look at so card. Yeah, we're trying to step it up a notch by putting the cards on. So everybody, see that little rainbow? Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So, so this one comes with two patterns, both by Gracie May Designs. Yep. Um, they're both fingerless mitts. I'll kind of... One's a crochet pattern for fingerless mitts, and the like other that. is a uh, knit version I of love fingerless those. mitts. Um, we try to include um, our subscribers are not always just knitters; they're mm -hmm. also crocheters. So I like being able to, when I can, to uh, provide a pattern for both. Yeah. So then it also comes with. A mini skein. In case you want to do these mitts, you can do the cuff. You could do the, the cuff and the ribbing um, in that gray. Yeah. It's it's gonna be beautiful together. And then of course there's a T I forgot to show. It's gonna be beautiful together. And the gray is called Stormy Weather. It'll be beautiful. You know what you can also use that for? Yes. I no. do know what you could do this for. Our nothing but double blanket yes. make along. See how yes. I transitioned there? That was so good. Like <laughs> a professional. <laughs> Okay, so here's my blanket. This is month one. This is January box, and this is February box. So I did block both of these, these, and then I did the edging, and then I put these together yesterday. So they're still a little wonky looking, but at the end of the blanket. It looks so good. At the end of the blanket, I will be crocheting all the way around it, and then I'll give it a good steam, and I think oh, yeah. it'll be great it looks good i love, love them i love them so y'all are probably wondering where i am with mine <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you that um you know that i was doing the i chose i only have it in a black and white version i'm sorry of the pattern i was gonna do the melting marl blanket mm -hmm. by stephen west the melting marl blanket mm -hmm. um it has too many instructions for me to follow. <laughs> I just like my design. I like my blanket to be simple and I don't really have to think or right. I can like quickly gl glance at the instruction line and then I'm like good to go. Right. And that was like a lot for me to yeah. follow. So then well, I, I called me the other day when she was working on it with this, this dilemma you had. And I'm like, cause this was actually one I was thinking about making this year. And I think I, I purchased it and I like looked through it and I'm like, yeah, no, this is not gonna be a blanket I want to work on for a whole year. Yes. Um, and that's how I felt about it as well. And then I cast on 316 stitches for it. And I got part of the way and I'm like, I don't like this. And yeah. so 
I played around with the pattern. I tried to nitpick my sec because it has different sections. Mm -hmm. I tried to nitpick that through the pattern and pick out only the section I wanted. It still was a lot, yeah. and it didn't look the way I wanted it to. So I wrote a pattern. That's so one does. Um, yeah. So I wrote a pattern. Um, I'm probably going to publish this. Um, it may come in a sock yarn society uh, for next year yeah. if people want. If you know, I don't know, but I started it, so I'm not That's that far it. behind. It's called Waves Upon Waves at the moment because it is a wave. It's a it, they're waves. They're it's feather and fan. Um, so are you holding it double with itself or with a different color? At the moment, I'm holding it double with itself because okay. my vision is that I'm going to have, I want it to melt down into the next color, which will be the purple mini, which I have caked up. And so I wanted to have a little bit of a white to, to the top to provide some light going into dark maybe. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to, so right at the moment I'm holding my January yarn double mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a couple of the repeats and then I'm going to bring in the purple. Yeah. And so I'm going to call this color A and then I'll change out and I'll drop one strand of color A. Mm -hmm. So think of it like A, A, B, B. Right. So I will drop A, A. I'll drop A and then I will add in B. So then I will be knitting with A, B. And then yes. BB and yeah, then and so B on. and then BB right. and then yeah totally yeah so that's that's what I'm doing so I'm super excited about I think it'll it be great um I the apologize stitch definition I think is just really lovely right also now. will tell you that I did an uh cat I cast on and did a you cast on three stitches and then you put them back on the needle as though you were going to do an I cord mm -hmm. and then you knit front and back in the first stitch and then uh, knit the next two stitches, slide them back on, and then pull off three and okay. do three stitches. Right. And in the first stitch, you're knitting front and back. And so you're making an I cord. That takes a really long time yeah. when you're casting on 316 <laughs> stitches. And then I was trying to pattern design on 316 16 stitches. So finally, I pulled out DK weight yarn and cast on the number I needed for a swatch mm -hmm. to make sure that it was going to give me the design I wanted. Okay. So um, I spent an entire day designing. Right. I mean, you just called me two days ago yeah. and you were still ripping back. So I think you actually made a good deal of progress considering that. I never really undone, I never really ripped out the, the cast on. Right. I always right. was working with, I always right. left those. And the beauty of that is it gives you a, the nature of this cast on gives you a long loop to work with in the beginning. So I had to, ca I had a purl after I cast on, I did a purl row as a setup round mm -hmm. so that it would get me back on the right side so that I could begin my uh, feather and fan section right. on the right side. Right. So it was, um, it's fun. I am loving when I look at it. You yeah, already it start to see the waves. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know this is going to make me yeah. happy. Yeah. Yep. So it's beautiful. So. It's so beautiful. I'm loving it. So we want y'all to join us. If yeah. you have not uh, already gotten on the nothing but double bandwagon, yep. join us. We love it. We're mm -hmm. going to draw prizes. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be fun. Yeah. So please join us. Make sure um, if you finish an object, there is a thread on Arkansas Yarn Co. groups for the finished objects. And remember, it can be a baby blanket, a throw, yeah. just any blanket, any, any yarn blanket. double. Doesn't have to be Lori's yarn, but if it is, post the picture twice. Yes. You get two entries. Yes. So, yeah. That's so fun. 
All right. Yeah, I'm so excited. Y'all have to just join us with this. We had so much fun last time. Yeah. And the prize, won- the prize winner from last year was Cecilia. Mm-hmm. And we sent her a jumbo. Did y'all see those big bags that uh, Lindsay Chevron and I bags. were using? Yep. Um, we thought that it would be such an appropriate gift to grant that to the winner of last year. So that's what we did. Yep. So Cecilia got that prize yep. and um we and then we draw prizes uh on Ravelry and also on the thread on Ravelry so um on Instagram. through Instagram. Yep. So we uh love being able to yeah. gift y'all things. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, well that's it for this month. It is. All right, well, we'll hey, see you in a month. Will, yes, we will see you in a month. Hopefully I'll have a whole lot more progress on mine. You will. I'm trying totally to catch will. up. It's only been two months. It's fine. Yeah, I can catch up. Now that you're enjoying it, too, will make the difference. It does, because when you don't like it, you don't want to do it. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.